Hey there friends, in this video we're going to be looking at unusual option activity in the retail sector. Market Rebellion just came out with their trade idea for the week and this week they're looking at Stitch Fix. And Stitch Fix is an online personalized styling service company. The company offers apparel, shoes, and accessories across categories, brands, product types, and price points. So they are in this re online retail space. And the reason they're looking at Stitch Fix this week is because the stock is approaching its 100-day simple moving average at $60.27, which they know provides a clear cut level to trade against. So they're also pointing out that after the company had its EPS report, there remains a gap unfilled when the stock was going down because of the report. And typically in technical analysis, gaps between candlesticks tend to get filled. So this is a positive indicator that if the stock breaks past its 100 day simple moving average, it could potentially fill that gap on its way up, which would give it enough momentum to continue. They also note, however, that depending on the market conditions, the stock could retest some of the recent lows it has given um, based on the volatility that we've seen. And that would mean the stock could potentially find some support around the 150 day simple moving average, which I believe they know could provide uh, movement $10 in either direction, which makes it a, an attractive trade for options. So they're looking really for the trade to sort of mimic the NASDAQ or the QQQ ETF, which kind of falls in line with the technology trades. So definitely is something that you want to be on the lookout as well if you'll be trading this. But if you can see from the chart here, the gap left between this candlestick and this candlestick here is one that could potentially get filled um, because in most of technical analysis of stock stock charts and patterns, these gaps tend to get filled on either the way up or down. And if there's volatility, then we can easily see some of these moving average lines being used as support. So that would be a really good indicator. When I look at the news to see what could be driving some of this unusual option activity, there really isn't anything that stands out from just doing like a quick Google search. I do use this article that Seeking Alpha points out, I think pretty consistently, it's definitely one that uh, I wanted to share with you guys. It's the Catalyst Watch. And in this Catalyst Watch, they basically point out a few key things that are happening throughout the weeks. Um, one thing that stood out here was that uh, Jerome Powell will be speaking this week, uh, I believe on the 16th or 17th, this Wednesday. And it looks like they'll just be doing some some kind of press conference and they'll be talking about the same old kind of stuff the markets and potentially forecast for interest rates or inflations so that's something to be on the lookout for especially if you're trading any options so this is a good article to keep keep handy whenever you want to know what's going on throughout the weeks and i'll be posting this in the description below for you guys to check out as well now when we look at what position investors are taking in this particular trade. Um, we go to bar chart and we see that the sentiment seems to be bullish. As you can see here, 74% of all the options traded are call options, meaning investors think that the stock could be going up in the near term. And when we dive deeper into the option prices, at least for the week that market rebellion is recommending, we see that for that 60 strike price, there is a pretty high price or high volume, excuse me, when you filter by volume and it has the highest volume in this strike chain. So when you compare that to the open interest, you see there's already some open interest. So it's a good indicator that a lot of volume is still coming into a lot of open interest. So it could potentially be a good sign for optimism that the stock could be moving up. Now, one thing that I found interesting was there seems to be unusual option activity across a few retail 
stocks that could present an opportunity for this to actually have momentum in the few days to come. So one of the things that I noticed when looking at Mark on Market Chameleon website, you can see that the Spider Retail ETF has also somewhat of a bullish sentiment with um, some signs of unusual option activity and high volume. And if you look through these, there's also a few retail names in here. I think Express is one of them, Kohl's. And yeah, I think that's about it. But a few of these brand related names and retail related stocks somehow seem to be appearing. So there could be something that's brewing behind the scenes around retail that maybe we're missing out. But that's something I, I just wanted to point out that I noted was kind of interesting. So as far as trading this specific name, this really comes from Market Rebellion. And I think the idea is really to use the levels they noted from the moving averages as targets and levels of support. So they recommend coming in with the stock above that 100 day simple moving average of 60.27. And then the target levels are as follows. And of course, they're recommending the March 19th expiration contracts. And as an exit point, if the stock comes back down to that 100 day moving average, then that would be the exit point that we would use based on their recommendation. On the put side, if we do see some volatility based on what's going on in the markets, then I think the play here would be what they're recommending as well, which is that $59 put and the same entry point, but this time with a trend of the stock going below this 100 day simple moving average and the target levels being the ones that you see there. So that's the idea for the week. Let me know what you guys think and uh, thanks again for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and share if you found this useful, but appreciate it and see you guys in the next video.